Today I'm going to do a very important review on the new Blink 2021. It's their new version, which they call their outdoors camera. Some really cool benefits to this system, which I think really outdoes the old one. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, one of the things I hate is I hate unboxing videos. <laughs> You'll never see me do a long unboxing. It comes with this cord and it comes, I'm not gonna do that. Because basically everything that comes with this system that's important is actually in my pockets right now. So there's a couple little pieces that you need to understand. And once you understand that, it makes it makes sense. I did two years ago, I did my first Blink video system video review. Uh, and it has close to a million views on it. And it's a really good video and I walk you through the system and how it works. But I can do that a lot quicker today. And let me show you how. The Blink system is a wireless system. It works over your internet. Um, this is the brain center. So you have one controller and connected to this controller, which is the brains of the unit, are all the other cameras. So this is sort of like the master controller center. And then all the other cameras are really just dummy drones. They're just robots. So everything that you want to set up, all the information, all the programming you do is contained inside here. These are the old X-T2 cameras. And I don't have any of the new ones with me because we use them down at the beach house. <laughs> but I am going to show you, I'm going to mix up some video here. I did a screen recording of my phone showing you the system. I have video of me actually installing the system down at the beach house. So I'm just gonna run through it all and I'll piece it all together. Okay, so what's, the, first of all, what's the big difference between the outdoors model and the X-T2, which is the second generation of Blink? It is not a whole bunch of change as far as the camera goes. You can see this has sort of ridges. The new outdoors model is completely smooth. I actually like the design of it better. The X-T2, the old system, has this little button that you push. You push it down and the back comes off. The new system actually has a screw. You can use a penny or whatever, but it has a little screw on the back that holds it. Uh, they both have, let me see, the new one, this has the camera here. The other one has the camera centered in the center at the top. This X-T2 system has the audio down here, which I believe now after looking at the new one is kind of stupid. The new one has the audio on the front, which I'll explain why. I really don't like the way that these little connectors snap in because they're not, I just get worried that in a hurricane or something, they're going to blow off. They're going to knock off. So what I like to do is, especially with my outside cameras or wherever I'm mounting them, I like to put them into a silicone case. I'm going to link to everything I'm talking about in the description below. I'm going to link to um, the new outdoor camera and I'm going to link to these new silicone covers. And I'm going to warn you, some of the silicone covers that they currently sell do not fit. They sell them for this old unit, the XT, the XT2 series. They don't fit the outdoors. So make sure you go to that link and look for that link. The ones that I'm going to show you actually come with the silicone cover. It's a full case cover. They snap in really nice and it covers the entire camera. It holds it really firm. And the actual screw system, the extender, screws into a mount on the silicone base, which is really important. It doesn't attach to the camera. It attaches to that heavy duty silicone base. And I just love that mounting system. So make sure you get that. So that's the difference between the two. Um, let me just go over the big changes and then I'll take you into my installation and go over the, with the screenshot. What's the big difference between these cameras? Uh, well, first of all, it's the latest and greatest. So if there were any technical problems that they weren't going to discuss with you on this camera, they pretty much have updated it in the newer system, in the outdoors version. Next, of course, the uh, different arrangement up here, which is really smart. But here's one thing that I really like. They have a new zone section. So you can turn on and off the motion alert on this so this has a motion sensor when it sees motion it starts recording and you can change the video length of it um, but it takes the whole screen so this whole screen right here is going to be 
set and anything that gives you a motion alert in that screen is going to set it off. Well, what if I have some palm trees hanging here? Or what if I have a street down here where cars go by? Well, with the new outdoor system, what you can do is you can go into a grid pattern. Maybe I'll put up a little thing on here. You can go into a grid pattern and what you can do, so let's say I wanted to block out this one tree, this tree, these leaves, and I wanted to block out, let's say there was a road here and I could touch these and any square that you turn gray now does not record a motion alert. That my friends is a really, really smart feature. Um, it, especially when you have cameras outside. Now I want to tell you something that's really cool. I wanted to have a full camera system down at the beach house. Obviously it's a four hour drive and I feel helpless if I can't see my house. Well, now what I did, I actually went up on the palm trees and very gently put one screw up on a palm tree. So I have a palm tree, a palm tree. I have a back one on the camera. I have one facing down at the road front and I have one in the backyard of the pool. And I even have one on the beach facing the lighthouse and the beach. So if I want to see what the weather's like. So it is kind of cool because any one of my family members can log into my system. They can log on. I installed the app on my wife's phone and she'll be at work and she'll be like, oh, I wish I was at the beach. And she can pull it up and she can live view and she can see the house. And it just, it's just a good feeling for me. It's a really good feeling to say, well, I got general contractors. I'll give you a good example. Um, I called the city. I was waiting on a tree permit. Um, they have to have, you have to have so many trees per thousand square feet. And so I called and they said, well, our arborist is really busy. Later that day, I actually got a motion alert and I saw him, I went to the camera, to the videos, it saves the videos. And I saw him pull up and actually walk out back. Then I got an alert from the back camera, the pool camera, and he was out there and he was actually measuring the trees out back. So I knew that he had been on the property. Sure enough, later that afternoon, I got a phone call, your tree permit's ready. That's just really cool. If I want to watch construction on the place, whatever they're doing, I can pull it up. If there's a storm, I can pull it up and see if there's any storm damage afterwards. So, um, a really cool system. Let me answer a couple of questions too about the battery life. Um, a couple of people said, <laughs> said, my batteries didn't last a month. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? I mean, are you shooting a live view? The old system I have, which I installed, I think it's over two years ago at the house which has four cameras on it, still is on the original batteries. I mean, I don't get many motion alerts because I, I have it on a schedule to only come on. I think my cameras come on at 10 p.m. at night and they shut off at 5 a.m. in the morning. It's a schedule that you can set inside your system. I don't want motion alerts. Now the front door, I actually have set on a different one. And if you want to put it on a different schedule, the only downfall about Blink is, you have to buy two controllers. So at my house, I have a controller and I have the front door, 24 hour motion, and everything else is on a different schedule because I use it like a, um, a ring system. Whenever Amazon shows up or something, I see them leaving it. At the warehouse, I have another system at the warehouse. I have two cameras there and I have it, it shuts off at 5 a.m. and turns on at 4 p.m. That's kind of our hours over there. At the beach house, I have it on all the time. So my motion sensors are on all the time because we're not there. The other day I was having a storm. Uh, we were having a storm down there and I kept getting motion alerts from the palm trees. So I just disarmed the system until the storm was over and it was all good. But it really is a cool feature system. Um, I can't say enough about it. The HD video, you can choose the different, I'm gonna walk you through what you, some of the settings you can do, but you can choose select from basically everything the length of the clip the sensitivity of the cameras um, the quality of the video do you want it high medium the ir the infrared illuminator do you want on low medium high the nighttime vision the night vision of these is pretty good i mean you can see people i have pitch black out back by the pool down at the beach house and it's pretty good the back deck out here we keep a light on at night and it's really good it looks almost like daytime uh, video quality, it is a HD video that it sends. Now, when they first came out, you had um, cloud storage that was free and it kept your videos for 30 days. I don't know why you would need to keep videos. Let me give you a little tip. If you have a video come up that you wanna save, 
just share it and email it to yourself. That's all you got to do. And then you have it permanently in your email. It'll be there forever. But you can now, now they charge you, I think it's $3 a month if you want additional store, uh, cloud storage. But here's one other feature that's really cool about this new outdoor. The brain sensor um, actually has a USB on it. But this really doesn't do a whole bunch. This is just for power mainly on the old XT2, on the old XT2 system. Well, on the new outdoor brain center, you can take a little USB reader, a little card. I actually have, um, I actually have one of these little insertable chips, and I think you can go up to 64 gigabytes. And so what you can do now is you can plug that into the side of your Blink system and do your storage right on this chip. So you don't have to pay for cloud storage. So that is a new cool feature on it. So if you don't want cloud storage, you don't have to pay anything. You just get a little chip, a little USB card, stick it in there and you record to it. And you can control the length of time that you want to save them, all that kind of stuff. Um, I do use, you don't have to have the, this actually goes, plugs in near a wall socket. You can just run a USB cord. I actually bought down at the beach house. I actually bought, they make a little bracket set that this mounts into a little bracket and plugs right in. It's really convenient. Uh, another question that I commonly get about this is the distance. How far will it go? Well, it runs off a Wi-Fi network. So it really depends on your router system. I have a really nice router. So my, um, my Wi-Fi system, I actually have one little extender unit that I put on the back deck. I have an outdoor case and uh, I put an extender out there because back in my shed, Back of my shed, I actually have an irrigation system that's Wi-Fi, and so I wanted that to be able to talk to my system. So if I wanted to, I probably could come out here and put a blink way out here just because of that extender. The range on it is really good. Uh, again, you can buy Wi-Fi extenders. Um, you can use a mesh network. A lot of people are using mesh networks that sort of extend out your range and do whatever you want, but I have had no problems with the range. Let's talk about the app. All you do is you go to the app store, you download the Blink app, you create an account, you sign in, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna scan the QR code. So there's a QR code on your controller, you scan that, and it adds it. The next thing you wanna do is, what do you want, it'll, it'll ask you, do you wanna add a system or a camera? Next, you add a camera, and it'll update. It automatically updates all this stuff. As soon as you add it, it'll go through the system, and it'll update it, and you're all set. It takes me about 10 minutes to do all this. Just QR code, QR code, put the batteries in, you're ready to go. That's pretty much it. So anyways, let me just show you the beach house installation again in the description below. I will link to the outdoors. I recommend they make a three camera set and a five camera set. Those are the two I recommend. I got the five camera set and I'm glad I did because you can put them all around. <laughs> it's kind of fun to be able to, while you're at work, just pull up and see what's going on. Now in the house, uh, if we want to go to the beach house for a couple of weeks, I can pull up the backyard. I can pull the inside of the house. I have the inside of the garage. I have the outside of the garage. I have the front door. I have cameras all around my house. So I can I can pull up and see. So even if, like, if I have an alarm system go off, I can actually pull these up and see what's going on. So again, I recommend the five camera system because it's really cool. If you only need three, go with the three camera system. So let me just show you that beach house footage. So if you hear football in the background, my son is studying and watching football, but I wanted to show you this. So you can see the mess we've got here, but this is the new Blink outdoor system. Um, and I did bring one of my old Blinks. This is the generation two. This is the X-T2. So this is the latest generation that most people are looking at. And this is the next camera that they came out with. And mainly the difference is, real quick, um, the camera is now centered. It has a smooth outside versus this ridged outside. And instead of having this little clip here that you push down, it actually has a screw. So that's the main difference. So I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna install this whole thing. Here's my actual controller. The outside controller is white and black as a difference. I ordered 
this wall mount separately. I'll put links to all this stuff. You can use these things, which are the normal clamps. I'm gonna use, I ordered some extenders and I'll show you. Okay, that. so they all have these, uh, what do you call those little barcodes you scan? QR codes? Yeah, it has QR codes on all of them. So I scan the QR code, you wait for it to turn blue and green blinking, add system on your app. So I already have three systems on my app. Um, and then it'll access that little module. Then it will want you to access your Wi-Fi, let it access your Wi-Fi. And then the next thing it's going to do is it's going to update the firmware. So it's going to update the firmware. Do not unplug the sync module. And then basically you just do the same thing. You just open up the back of each camera. Um, once you get this system updated, then the cameras, all these cameras belong to a system. You can set a schedule for that system. You can set um, modes for the whole system. You can select areas of sensitivity for each one of the cameras. But basically, that sync module plugged into my wall, I'll show it to you, is now the brains of the system, and these are the dummy robots that belong to the brain. Make sense? Okay, so let me show you these cameras real quick. So this is the back of the camera. They give you a little screw thingy diggy. You can just use a coin, unscrew it, and it comes right off. It comes with Energizer lithium battery. Excuse all the mess here. We're obviously just moving everything in. So this is the silicone cover that I'm talking about, and I really like it because it has one screw here and your mount actually screws into the back of this, okay? So it's really nice and secure. But your camera actually will, let me make sure I got the film off the front. Your camera actually slides in here. And then it actually, there's a little lip that totally seals this camera off all the way around. There we go. You hear sort of a popping sound. This thing goes, gets secured all the way in. There we go. So we have got a nice, secure, waterproof seal here. Great little system. This just screws on the back, and then you screw this wherever you want to mount it. And I'll show you some of the mounted cameras. And I'm going to go install this one real quick. Okay, so this is the home page for my systems. As you can see, this is my home system. I have the front camera on a different system because it has to be on a different schedule. Uh, the warehouse, there's my warehouse, and there's the beach house. And let's focus on the beach house right now. So as I go through this, I can click on any of these live views and I can actually see a live view of the street. Now it takes about six to eight seconds for it to populate. And there it is. There's the live view in front of my beach house. I can talk. I can save this video, push close. But I can go through any of these and push a live view and see it. Now, when you go inside of this, as an example, let me go to the pool. I'm going to go to the pool and I'm going to click settings. And I named it pool at the top. The battery is okay, the temperature, motion detection is enabled, activity zones, that's where you're going to go in and when you have activity zones. If I didn't want a certain area to record, as an example, maybe the palm trees over here, I don't want that and um, I'm going to go ahead and put done and it'll update so those palm trees that are blowing in the wind won't activate it. Sensitivity level, um, I keep it on about six. Clip length, now this is standard set to five. I like mine at 10 to 15 seconds. Um, end early clip, um, end clip early if motion stops, I do not. I take that off. Early notification, I don't worry about that. Motion recording is on, night vision. I put my IR sensitivity at high. I think it comes in normal. I'm going to say high. You can see it says it may affect the battery life. I enable a microphone, the speaker volume to be able to talk. And I go ahead, it comes in in standard. And I'm going to go in and click best. Um, LED light, it'll go on when it's recording or just turn it off totally. 
Uh, let's see, what else? Nothing. I'm just going to click save and it'll go ahead and save and update the system. And that's pretty good. So front beach camera. Oh, I just got a motion alert. That's pretty cool. So we got a motion alert from the front beach camera. So let's see what that was. Oh, it was a car. So there was a car passing by on the left side of the screen. So that tells me if I keep getting that alert, actually it turned into the road. If I keep getting that alert, maybe I need to block out that area. So let's watch that one more time here. I can turn it on its side and I can get a larger view of this. And you can see that that little car is turning down the road there. So that's pretty cool. So that's all I just wanted to give you sort of a glimpse of my actual system. I want to show you one of these mounted cameras. This is my older system. This is one of my first. And I actually used, what did I use? I used uh, little silicone covers and a little extender bracket on those too. This is on the back deck. So I have an interesting story for you while I was editing this video. Um, my wife was in my office and she said, oh, you got a motion alert from the beach house and looked and the neighbors who are really great folks, they have like three kids and they homeschool them <laughs> and uh, they play soccer and baseball and their, one of their balls came in and went up against my house and you see a little kid run over and get the ball. It's, it's a really cool system, especially I'm telling you, if you have a vacation home somewhere, the first, um, I wish I had this, we had a, uh, a log cabin years ago up in the mountains and this would have been great for that. But if you have a second house, a vacation house, get a whole bunch of these cameras, put them all around. Um, you can put your main, if you um, have, are in an area that has a lot of power outages, because it will go offline. Uh, you can get a battery backup system and plug it into a battery backup system and it drains no energy whatsoever. But look, this is my fourth system that I have purchased and I buy them through Amazon just like you do. You can go to the link below and you'll find them. But the uh, make sure, I really, really encourage you to get the, the Blink outdoor version. They make an indoor version. I don't know why you would buy the indoor version. It just doesn't make sense to me. Just buy a whole set of outdoors. You can use them indoors and outdoors like I'm doing. I actually set one of my cameras on my mantle inside. I don't even mount it. I just set it on the mantle and it shoots inside. So if I ever need to look inside, I can look inside the house. And uh, that's about it. I know I didn't answer all the questions. People always end up having more questions and I'll put technical details. If you go to the description below, I'll put a technical detail sheet down there. I'll put links to all the products, all the, the silicone, everything. Hope that helped. Talk to you later. Hit subscribe. Doc.